U.S. stocks closed lower on Tuesday after credit rating agency Moody's downgraded several lenders, raising fears about the health of U.S. banks and the economy. The Dow dropped nearly half of 1 percent. The S&P 500 fell slightly less than that, while the Nasdaq dipped about eight-tenths of 1 percent. The indexes have fallen five out of the six sessions so far this month. Pence Capital Management Chief Investment Officer Dryden Pence says he thinks this is a sign that the huge technology stocks that have led the market this year are slipping and giving way to other unloved sectors. I think what we're beginning to see is this shift occurring. We've had such a strong rally with seven to 10 stocks so far in the year. We're beginning to see a shift out of some of those ones that have really led and transforming into what we believe is a broader market rally, kind of the leadership by the laggards, if you will, based on the fact that we see very low likelihood of recession this year. So I think this is the beginning of a little bleed from from the high flyers, uh, and then we'll see this spread out a bit into, into the rest of the market. Pence said the shift he spoke of could benefit energy and healthcare shares. Two healthcare stocks had strong showings Tuesday, including Eli Lilly, which surged 15 percent after the pharmaceutical firm posted upbeat quarterly profits, and Denmark-based Novo Nordisk, which jumped 17 percent after saying its obesity drug Wegovy reduced the risk of heart disease.